this, you're quite correct. I'm not Doreen. Doreen's having a well-earned rest this morning. And I'll just leave you with Tim Wheater from uh, this lovely number in Unity. Um, just for the moment, whilst everybody's having time to tune in. Sally. Nice to see you, Monica, and then see my eyes are working better today. <laughs> I can read the screen. Hello, Hilda. Hello, Michelle. Yeah, Doreen's just having a quiet rest. Hopefully, George is um, giving a breakfast in bed this morning, so hopefully, uh, she'll be having a nice, restful day. And uh, all being well, Dory will be here next Sunday. Tim Sweeter's getting a bit loud there. Let's turn, turn Tim down. Lovely number, Heart from CD in Unity by Tim Wheater and David Lord. And tonight I'll be playing a lot more of Tim Wheater's music on the Healing For You session, 7.30 this evening UK time. Well, let me just fade Tim down. Just leave Tim gently in the background for the moment. So welcome everybody. Good morning on this uh, Sunday morning, uh, 13th of March. Wow, the weeks are flying by. It'll be the spring equinox in another week. And um, let's hope we're getting into some nice spring weather now. So as I've just said a couple of times now, poor Doreen has got her feet up this morning, having a nice rest. Um, she's been very busy recently and it was actually George's idea, I think. George said to Doreen, you're going to have a quiet weekend. So if you're having a quiet weekend, and as I say, hopefully George, if you're listening George, I hope you're making the tea, doing the breakfast, etc. So uh, she'll be back with us again next Sunday. So please close your eyes now, because healing and relaxation go hand in hand. And I just want you now to relax. So focus on your breath, taking time to slowly empty your lungs of the waste air. And then take a lovely big in-breath. With every in-breath, that wonderful healing energy will just flow into your body. Breathe slowly and deeply taking a few seconds to exhale and a few more to inhale. And relax down through your body, starting with the muscles in your face. As the muscles around your eyes and your jaw relax, let that feeling of relaxation flow down your neck to your shoulders. And from your shoulders, down your arms, to your hands, and to your fingers. And then all the way down through your body, down your legs, to your knees, your ankles, your feet, and to the very tips of your toes. Relax. And this morning, we will be sending out healing to the whole world. So let us attune now for the healing. And 
we give thanks that we are gathered here today. We ask that this place be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As your crown chakra opens, you feel or imagine a column of pure white light filling your body. Then feel the balance and harmony within your body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of your feet and your base chakra. You feel your connection to the universal source of pure, unconditional love, balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth. And as Harry Edwards wrote, May I be thankful for all the blessings that I already have. Grant me relief from pain and sickness and protect me from all ills and grant me good health in the days to come. Remove all causes of imperfection and bring your healing ministers close to me that I may be conscious of their presence and so receive guidance and inspiration. Grant me courage and fortitude to overcome all adversity. Let me be conscious of your strength in all times of need. Grant me confidence to overcome my fears and not to anticipate harm. Teach me how to live rightly in your sight, to do only that which is right and true. I pray that good guidance and right influencing will inspire all your peoples to be as brothers, one to the other, and that peace shall endure for all time. Amen. And touched by angels. We are touched by angels and walk where angels tread. They will guide us, walk beside us through the days ahead. In the hours of darkness, when our dreams have flown, they bring hope and gentle healing. We are not alone. In our times of doubting, Still they understand, and forever touched by angels, we walk hand in hand. And we ask now that all the people whose names we hold in the distant healing folder and all the distant healing folders around the world, that they will receive healing for their highest good. And we also request healing for their family, friends, and for, for people for whom they have requested distant healing. And our love and our healing goes out once again to everybody in the Ukraine, to everybody in Russia and in Eastern Europe, and to the whole world. And we send out our prayers, our love and our healing that this situation will very soon get sorted. So let us have one minute silence now where we all send out our own personal thoughts.
be placed in the healing light and receive that which they are allowed to receive for their highest good. And our thanks and blessings go out to you all this morning for sending out that beautiful energy. And our love and our thoughts go out to all in spirit who join us regularly at this time. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. So, please continue to contact us in the normal way. Uh, manning our phones of Veronica, Sue or Gail um, and they'll only be, they'd love to hear from you. They'd love to have a chat and you know deal with any of your requests for distant healing or contact healing or anything at all that you'd like to find out about at the sanctuary. So if you email or write to us then we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Hopefully within a few hours but you know fingers crossed very quickly. Now I did mention earlier, but I will be back with you this evening at 7.30 UK time for another Healing For You session. It'll be live on both Zoom and on Facebook and will last as usual for around an hour. There'll be a 20 minute meditation, some music and the Healing For You. And afterwards, all those on Zoom are welcome to have a chat with us and share their experiences. Now on Wednesday, the 16th, at two o'clock in the sanctuary, John Phillips will be taking one of his wonderful guided meditations. And then next Sunday, the 30th, Linda will be on Zoom and on Facebook at 7.30 in the evening with one of her special healing meditations. On Thursday the 24th at 10.30 in the morning, we're holding a grief and a cuppa session at the sanctuary. Now this is a fairly new session and it is a community group event by the bereaved for the bereaved. And all the details of these events um, are in the normal place. They're on our Facebook page um, and on our website. So do have a glance through. Um, and there are quite a few events happening after these dates as well, later in March and, and into April. And uh, the details are gradually appearing um, in the normal place. Okay, relax. Just sit back, lay back and relax. And before I read you one of Harry Edwards' articles from the 60s, I'd like to read you another one of Joan Heather's poems. I did read this one some time back, but it is lovely and very poignant yet again for our time. I sit here in my chair, my meditation zone, eyes closed, seeking peace, but never alone. I imagine myself in a beautiful glade where my thoughts and worries finally fade. Dappled sunlight filters through the trees, tempered by a gentle breeze. A tiny brook is running crystal clear and the sun of water I can softly hear. I see before me a temple, neat as a pin, five white steps and an open door beckon me in. Inside a circular room with a stained glass dome and it feels just like I've come back home. A soft couch in the centre where I sit to rest, rainbow colours through the dome shine on my chest. I close my eyes and feel the healing light surrounding my body, warm and bright. This healing power comes full of love, sent down from the angels up above. It's available to us, for you and me. Just ask, it will be given entirely free. And for loved ones and strangers, we just have to call. Healing will be given and sent to them all. No need to believe, just send your request. The angels will hear you and do.
do their best. So I'll rest for a while in this warm healing light, ready to let go of the battles I fight, allowing the love to surround me at last, until tranquility comes in, enveloping the past. Then I send grateful thanks for all I have reached. My demeanour is lighter and greatly relieved. I'm at one with myself, my strength is in place, ready to move forward with all that I face. As I rise from the couch, I look around the room. Its beauty is shining like a full bright moon. I want to remember all its healing power available to me, whatever the hour. I'm feeling much lighter as I start to return. Along the pathway, I'm willing to learn how to help myself at the end of the day and so to help others along the way. I'm back in my zone where I ha have I been. Was it real or only a dream? My heart is light. And I feel at peace. Anxiety gone, I feel release. And I can go home, and I can go back, back to that place. Whenever my life is too much of a race, it will always be there, waiting for me, when my spirit and soul feel the need to be free. We can all take the love that's awaiting us there, for nothing else can really compare. It comes from the divine and our spiritual home. So always remember, you're never alone. Thank you, Joan. Lovely poems. Joan does write some really lovely poems. So, I'm just going to read you an article now written by Harry Edwards back here in the 60s. It was the last published um, in the Healer magazine back in 2010, I think it was. Yes, February 2010, um, it last appeared in the Healer. So, it is entitled, Belief is Not a Barrier. I love Tim, but I think I'll just turn him down a bit. This story commences nearly 20 years ago, when a lady was greatly troubled about her husband's health. He had been suffering from internal pain and had wasted away. At St Thomas's Hospital in London, they took X-ray photographs and found the presence of a cancerous growth on the lung and liver. The doctor explained this to the wife and said they could do nothing for him. She should have him home and make him as comfortable as possible. Everyone can understand how this sentence of death gave her great sorrow. On the following Sunday evening, she was walking by the Balham Spiritualist Church and felt moved to go into the service. It so happened that I was giving one of my first addresses in a church service. Three days later, the lady was walking along Balham High Road and once again she felt an impulse to take her into the stationer's shop. She says she does not know why she went into the shop. She felt she had to do so. Her surprise can be imagined when she met me in the shop, for it was my business. She felt she wanted to tell me about her husband's sickness, which she did and I told her we would ask for an absent healing for him. It was in this way that I found my second patient. I could not go to see him because he was an agnostic and would not tolerate any form of religious treatment or discussion. That night healing was sought from spirit for him and this is what followed. At seven o'clock the next morning the man got up from his bed free from all pain and made his wife a cup of tea. This was something he had only very rarely done before. It was clear to his wife that a great change had taken place to him. His eyes were clear, there was a healthy look with him, 
and he did not want to go back to bed. So astonished was the wife that she got in touch with her children and they came in the evening and could only sit and look at their father in amazement. When the man went back to St Thomas's hospital, there was a new doctor. He looked at the x-rays then and examined him and said, well, the hospital treatment has done you a world of good. The patient told him he had not had any treatment and the doctor asked to check the x-ray plates to see if they had been mixed up with those of another patient. In the three weeks that followed, our patient put on weight and on the next visit to the hospital, he was told he could undertake light work. That was 20 years ago. Whilst I have not heard from the wife for over a year now, her husband was still alive at that time, though suffering from arthritis. This was my second healing. It cannot be put down to faith. Healing for the man knew nothing about the treatment being given. Can healing be permanent? Here surely is the answer. I picked that up this morning, about half an hour ago, and just thought I would read it to you, because I thought uh, another one of Harry Edwards' lovely articles, um, and of course they're true. This is what Harry experienced firsthand, which is really nice. Right. Okay. And now for some music. I'm going to leave you this morning with a beautiful song sung by the Bachelors. meditation and healing um, so it will reach you whenever you decide to listen to it 
So I'll just leave you with the blindfold hunter from Tim Wheater, Sound Medicine Man. Thank you all very much for being with us today, sharing your wonderful healing energy, going out there to your loved ones and to the world. So take care everybody, enjoy your Sunday, and I may see you tonight, if not, I'll see you soon somewhere else. Take care. Oh, don't forget Tracy tomorrow. Must plug Tracy, Monday morning. <laughs> Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care.